Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. <clears throat> so recently I did a um, Saturday morning nostalgia where I was talking about Plane Chase 2012 and um, I pointed out that I had a couple of those, or well, three of those actually, which were unboxed so I was going to go through and actually do some unboxings for those products. So we did the first one the other day which was the Ninjitsu Night of the Ninja deck and uh, going to move on now to the Savage Aura's Totem Armor deck which is a, a white green uh, plain chase product so as you can see on the back um, you get 60 card deck in here um, 10 card planar deck which is 8 plain cards and 2 phenomenon cards uh, planar die, a deck box and a strategy insert with multiplayer rules along with the the old style Magic Learn to Play guide. So this was a multiplayer format. Um, I think in both the Night of the Ninja unboxing and the uh, Setting Morning Nostalgia, I actually um, went through the, the basics of, of the game. So what we'll do here is we'll just open this up, take a look at the card. and see what we've got in here. So let's have a look at the uh, plain deck first of all. Actually before we do that if you haven't seen one of these, so this is a plain of die. Uh, six sided, you have the chaos symbol on one of the sides and this uh, planeswalker symbol, whatever you want to call it, on one of the other sides. So, um, Akum, players on the plane of Zendikar, players may cast enchantment cards as though they had flash and the um, the chaos component of the of the card. Whenever you roll the chaos symbol, destroy target creature that isn't enchanted. Aritopolis. It's a plane of Kefalia. When you planeswalk to the Aritopolis, to Aritopolis, or at the beginning of your upkeep, put a scroll count on Aritopolis. Then you gain life equal to the number of scroll counters on it. When Aritopolis has 10 or more scroll counters on it, Planeswalk. And the Chaos component, whenever you roll the Chaos symbol, put a scroll count on Aritopolis, then draw cards equal to the number of scroll counters on it. Astral Arena on the plane of Kolban. No more than one creature can attack each combat. No more than one creature can block each combat. Under the Chaos section, whenever you roll the Chaos symbol, Astral Arena deals two damage to each creature. Edge of Malakol, which is on the plane of Belanon. If, you, if a creature you control would untap during your untap step, put two 1-1 one, one counters on it instead. Under the Chaos section, whenever you roll Chaos, tap each creature you control. Grove of the Dream Pods on the plane of Fabicon. When you planeswalk to Grover the Dream Pods or at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature. A creature card. Put that card onto the bottom, onto the battlefield, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Under the Chaos section, whenever you roll Chaos, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Kessig on the plane of Innistrad. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt by non-werewolf creatures under the chaos section whenever you roll chaos each creature you control gets plus two plus two gains trample and becomes a werewolf in addition to its other types until end of turn an okay catacomb on the plane of chandelar all creatures are black and have death touch under the chaos section whenever you roll chaos creatures you control get plus one plus zero and gain first strike until end of turn uh, Talon Gates on the plane of Dominaria. Anytime you could cast a sorcery, you may exile a non land card from your hand with X time counters on it, where X is the converted mana cost. If the exiled card doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. So at the beginning of 
its owner's upkeep, he or she removes a time counter. When the last is removed, the player casts it without paying its mana cost. If it's a creature, it has haste. Under the Chaos section, whenever you roll Chaos, remove two time counters from each spend card you own. Chaotic Ether is a phenomenon card. When you encounter Chaos, uh, when you encounter Chaotic Ether, each blank roll of the planar die is a Chaos roll until a player planes walk away from the planes. And plane wide disaster. Another phenomenon card, when you encounter plane-wide disaster, destroy all creatures and planes walk away from this phenomenon. So those are the planeswalker cards. <coughs> and let's have a look at the plane chase deck. So what green auras? Okay. It's going to be tricky now. Oh, there we go. Before we have a look at the deck, um, let me just open up this pack with the instructions in it. <clears throat> I'm just going to put this on camera where the section describes. So, <clears throat> as with the other two decks I open, what, what you'll notice is uh, each pack, it actually just has all all of the decks listed in there and, and you know for each one there's the deck list and then the how to play and also it marks up in this which particular cards are new to this particular recent release now after this came out of course these cards probably ended up in other uh, another magic sets but there were some unique cards in here um, one of which was uh, was actually in all all five of the decks, or sorry, all four of the decks. Um, so you can see here, there on camera, there's your sort of setup. So obviously there's elements of this that are traditional magic, and then there's other stuff which obviously has to take into account the planar deck and the planar the planar die. Then there's the basically the instructions on how to, to use your planar deck, like when you should roll the die, how many times you can roll the die, how much it costs to roll the die, um, what happens when the various symbols get triggered, and then how you might win the game. And obviously in any multiplayer game it has way, you know, ways in which you deal with, um, as, as players get knocked out of the game, how, that, how the game continues. So let's go through our deck. I'll highlight the, the rares in here as we go through them particularly. Uh, Dream Pod Druid. Got a couple of those. Solana Ledge Walker. Core Spirit Dancer. So this is our first rare we're going to look at. One and a white, zero two. Creature Core Wizard. Core Spirit Dancer gets plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it. Whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. Aura Gnarled, no surprise to see that this in an, an Aura deck. There's a couple of those. Aura Mancer. Armoured Griffin. A couple of those. Lumber Knot. Two of those. Thran Golems in here. Dowsing Shaman. Bramble Elemental. Celestial Ancient, another rare, so 3 and 2 white for a 3 3 creature elemental with flying. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Elderwood Scion, another rare, 3 green white for 4 4 creature elemental. It's pretty cool artwork, how uh, clear that is. Uh, Trample Lifelink, suppose you cast it. Target Elderwood Scion costs two less to cast spells, and your opponent cost cast at target Elderwood Scion costs two more to cast. Aura Touched Mage, 
Crown the Dawnclad. So this is uh, the legendary in the deck. I think all of these decks had a, a legendary creature in them. Cron the Dawnclad. Three green, three white, legendary creature. Archon. It's a 6-6 six, six with flying and vigilance. Whenever Cron the Dawnclad attacks, if it's enchanted, exile target permanent. Grey Pelt Refuge is part of our non-basic lands. There's a couple of those. There's a Croson Virgin here. A Selesnia Sanctuary. Ever popular Ravnica lands for, for fixing. And uh, we've got a couple of those. We've got a Terramorphic Expanse. We've got a Vitu Gazu City Tree. So we've got a one colour utility land that puts saplings into play. Then we have our forests here. Yeah, so various artworks. So green white, so we should have forests and plains. Okay, so we have a rancor in here. Hyena Umbra. Fractured Power Stone. This was the card that was in all the decks because it uh, interacted with the, the plane of die. Quiet Disrepair, Phil, Felidar Umbra, Felidar Umbra, sorry, a couple of those, Spirit Mantle, Boar Umbra, I'm going to see lots of Boar Umbras in this deck, a couple of those, Snake Umbra, Cage of Hands, Ghostly Prison is in here, Predatory Urge, which is another rare, three and a green, Enchantment Aura, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That creature deals damage equal to its power to this creature. So we've got like a repeatable um, fight effect on there. Mammoth Umbra is in here. Uh, three Dreams, another another rare. Four and a white sorcery. Search a library up to three aura cards with different names. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your library. Sigil of the Empty Throne, another rare. Three and two white enchantment. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a four four white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Indric Umbra. Umbra. Four green white enchantment aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus four plus four and has first strike. And all creatures able to block it do so, it's also totem armor. So with totem armor and the few other other, particularly the Umbras had totem armor. So with, with that, if enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage for it and destroy this aura. Pollen bright wings, and there we have it. <clears throat> so that was our um, Savage Auras Plain J deck, which had the um, was you know, the totem armor theme deck. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.